love sending Kim pics because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like Too to funny, do. Mama. <laughs> so, <laughs> that I'm and I I feel like I had to work a song. Mamas. Girl, it's Mother's Day. Yes, it is. There's a bunch of stuff we got to be doing. There's stuff I have to catch up on. There's things I need to read. All kinds of stuff. I'm not sure what I should, because I love reading. Oh, wait. Speaking of reading, there's a fantastic book I want everyone to get uh, for Mother's Day as a gift. It's a it's called Phenomenal Woman. I love that. Oh, I like that. Phenomenal Woman. By Mika Morris. Now, it's Mika, M-K-A, Morris. And it's a group of stories about women who have persevered. Oh, they've gone through difficulties and they've persevered. I always like that when it's when it's more than one person's point of view because I love reading about different people and how they have you know persevered and pushed through mm -hmm. and where they get their peace and their joy because every person's story is different. Every, every woman's story is different. And that's look at you, so like so phenomenal, phenomenal woman. woman. And these stories are how these women they uh, they were triumphant. Yeah. Triumphant, yeah. They were triumphant. That's the word I was trying to get. I was oh about my to... gosh! I'm sorry when you said they were triumphant. Because yeah. I was like, do I say triumph? But they were great, y'all. Shenomenal Woman is out right now. By Mika Morris. Mika Morris. M MKA. Morris. For Mo That's a really a really good book for Mother's Day because, yes. you know, it's women speaking to other women. Women speaking Because we go women. through things all of the time. And I think sometimes we need that tea for the soul. Absolutely. How you persevere. And there's the book right there. Look at that beautiful cover. Wait, let me get off yeah, the side. There you go. There's the book. Shamika. Sh 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 no. No, it's Shenomenal Woman. Shenomenal Woman. woman. By Mika, Mika Morris. Morris, a fantastic book for Mother's Day. Uh, get your copy. Wonderful read. And I'm sure on all online sellers, Amazon, yes. Barnes and Noble. That's right. Absolutely. Congratulations, Congratulations. Mika. Congratulations, Woman. We're phenomenal. We still? We're phenomenal. I like that. You're my shero. You're my shero too. And you're because phenomenal. you're so you're so phenomenally phenomenal. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> should I? Yes, I should. For phenomenal women. Oh, yeah. So whatever things are going on is, um, okay. You're a shenuff. Sh you, sh <laughs> you should shut up. Oh, shut up. Shut up. I like that. You're, you're shenuff. You're shenuff. You're phenomenal. You are shenuff for Sh any chunk of woman. <laughs> phenomenal woman. You see what you've already done, Mika? No, phenomenal you woman. This. All right, y'all. Please go get your copy. Hi. What's with the grin? Sherry and Kim. Look at you, look at you. Why are you squeezing them? I don't know. Good. How y'all doing? Hey. Welcome to Two Funny Moms. I'm Kim Whitley. And I am Sherry Shepard. And we're yes, doing this. Are. We're doing this again in the evening because both of us, we couldn't get it together with Chris to have a daytime. Um, how do you know? How do they know it's evening? Why do you Because tell I just people? tell them. But that's not none of their business, Sherry. Oh, shh. It's always their business. You're such an actress. Yes, it's always their business. This is our family. You're so, so we're, fake. We're transparent. You're so, you're such. It's so funny because I'm a Hollywood I, I, uh, actress. No, not at all. Look at you. <laughs> you're always showing your teeth. You talk with your teeth. Like you never just close your mouth. Like you're, you just, ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my mama. I'm not quite sure, Chris, why she's picking on me, but I'm not going to take the bait. I was going to say, yeah, it's just right out of the gate. What's going on? She's right got little, out of the gate. Look at those teeth. Right out of the gate. But what is interesting to me is how you talk about my teeth, but your teeth. How do you not talk without your teeth, Chris? Can you talk without your teeth? I can't uh, talk. I'm not, oh, I can keep my uh, like keep my teeth closed. Like, yeah, I can. I can keep my lips above. You talk about this all the time. Sherry yeah. can't. I can't. And you know why I talk with my teeth? Because that's one of the gifts that God gave me. Oh, so wow. I use is that she a might. gift? Absolutely. I bet your ex-boyfriend wouldn't say so. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was so sacrilegious, but I'm I'm not gonna take the bait. I like that Sherry know. went straight up with God too. She was Absolutely. like, Yeah, God gave Because I know where I get my smile from. And I know that that's one of the things that, that moves me forward. Like you have to know, and I say this all the time when I'm talking to people or have to do motivational talks, you have to know what makes you special and unique. And if you know what makes you special and unique, you use it. And don't be abashedly unashamed. Be proud. Is that a real word, Sherry? Unabashedly? Oh, Absolutely, God. dear. Absolutely. Right. See, as I grin, you see all my teeth. No, yes. no, you see all your teeth when you talk. <laughs> Absolutely. They never close. <laughs> Do your jaws hurt? This is why God gave me big teeth. Like, he didn't, like, God didn't give me, like, picky fence teeth 
or God didn't give me like <laughs> he didn't give me like little teeth that look like little graveyards markers okay. he gave me a full set of te- i was born with teeth that looked like no, this first, as soon as my first, teeth came okay, in came at in. about five or three whenever our teeth come in i had big teeth they used to call me snaggle tooth all of oh. my pictures i had two front big teeth and people would call me snaggle tooth and make fun of me and oh. and 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 then i realized my teeth and my smile is a gift from god not your it. big eyeballs that too since you, if you want to continue to take apart my face, take apart my face. Absolutely. What was your What was your thing? Uh, people brought up as a kid, Kim. Oh, my dimples. The dimples and my rolls. Oh. Lots of chubby rolls <laughs> as a baby. As well, you should have rolls as a baby. That's not bad. But they, I kept them. That well, that's the part. Yes. And therein lies the problem. You kept them. You wouldn't <laughs> let the rolls go. You wouldn't let them go as you left toddlerhood. Oh, you no. wanted to keep them during elementary, yep. high school. Yep, rolls, and I was looking for some butter. College, oh, my whole life. He was looking for butter. <laughs> <laughs> but now you learn to embrace those rolls. You didn't even them. want to let them go with WW, and you no, were losing weight. It's hard. You try to hold on to them because holding. in your mind you still have rolls, yes. even though in your body. You don't, have, you don't have rolls. You fight me all the time about wearing. Like I wanted, Kim bought this for me, you guys, which I think is like, so it's hard to, it. it's hard. Okay, I won't show the price tag. Yeah, I'm going to tear it off because dollars. you bought for me. Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, th- now Chris, it's hard for you to see this. Turn it around. I'm, and I'm showing people oh. who are listening to us on the podcast. It's, it's a black see-through baby doll dress. Yes. It's so cute. It's a black see-through baby doll dress. Because she loves baby dolls. Kim, I love baby doll dresses because you know why? Oh. They're short and they show off my legs. Yes. So I love my legs. I get a lot of compliments. So I like um, billowy dresses, baby doll dresses. The dress is see-through. Now, if Kim kept it, she would put on a tank top and leggings. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> But the, it messed up, up the Chris. whole look. But she bought it for me. Do you know how I'm going to wear this? I don't. I'm greased up legs. Greased up legs, a bra, and some probably a thong. Yep, oh. that's how she's going. And I'm going to go and go, oh, my God, I hope it's not windy. And it's see-through. And it's see-through. Okay. Yeah. But do you really hope it's not windy? No, I don't want it to be windy. Because, I, you know, this, you know, here's the thing. What I don't want to see is I don't want to see <laughs> women... <laughs> Letting the wind blow. There's a certain age where you gotta stop letting the wind blow up your skirt. Yes. Okay. Like, don't nobody want to see no, a booty with a bunch of wrinkles. It's just no. even if you don't have all of the wrinkles, there's just literally yeah. a certain age where you should stop. So no, I don't want the wind, but I will probably I'll put on some booty shorts. But I don't mind my legs showing, right. and I don't mind it to see through because I have cute black bras. I wore see through leotard when we did the last when we did our live. Yeah. So see through, that's not a problem. But you don't embrace the fact that you've lost over 30 pounds nope. and you look amazing. Exactly. And I was talking about you with a bunch of people, a bunch of people. We were sitting there discussing Kim Whitley and everybody said how beautiful you were. Oh. And everybody talked about those Oscar pictures. She Kim took pictures at the Oscars with a red like sequin blazer with the red sequined jumpsuit and you had glam hair and everybody was unanimous in that Kim Whitley is so damn gorgeous, but you don't believe that you're so damn gorgeous. No. And you always silly and you, and you downplay it, but you're sexy. Like men get it. Cause that's why they're always on you. Do they get it, Chris? So I want I want Kim to do, and that's what I I would challenge you to do that, like step out of your comfort zone. So Kim, this is what I think do I'm a sexy do. photo shoot. I guess what I thought it came, a vision came to me. I can't say what? it came from God because this ain't right. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a. You gonna probably say that is the craziest thing. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a photo shoot for Sherry because she challenged me. Yeah. Uh, in July, about oh, then. Okay. Because my birthday's in July. All right. Even though the internet says different and. <laughs> Uh, it does get the wrong birthday for birthday you. for me. So are you talking I, about like, just like me and an iPhone? Like how does this work? Yeah. I'm gonna get a photographer, Chris. Oh, got it. Okay. Made up. Oh. And I'm gonna have my hair probably split down the middle. And then I'm gonna have it black and wavy. Oh wow. And it's gonna go all the way to my feet. Click oh it's cover. Like Eve. It's gonna cover your, your private. She did that. No, Adam and Eve. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're going to be like Eve, but not I, Eve the rapper. I was like, <laughs> oh. Eve, the shoe, baby. With the pause? 
Right, I'm gonna have it all the way down and then right in the middle, probably a bow right there, maybe. Two bowls on each end, like it's two long ponytails, but the bowls will connect so you can't see the cat. I don't know, it's a thought. But long I, okay, I like where you're going. I think maybe a different kind of direction, something more sultry. Why do I have to be sultry? You because that's just one here's shot. the thing. God created you with a sultry look. You just don't play into the sultry. I thought that was going to be kind of cute. It will be, but I like, but be open. I like that. Let, okay, let's start saying one way. Okay. Be open. So I don't this... want to take, take some sexy ones in a bathtub full of bubbles. So all they see. Well, have people done that before? Uh, yes, but you haven't. All right. Where would you your, have... where would your about... ideal, <laughs> where's your ideal spot to take photos, Kim? Look, Andrea oh, takes pictures. She'll put, he'll hoist nice. Kim up on the barbecue grill. You know what? And now that you said that, I will do it. Guess what? I'm going to do it in the bathtub because I got a huge tub. Yeah. But it's going to be with chocolate all over my body in half places and just on the wall splattered. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's... Do you know how much chocolate we're going to have to... you know how much money that's going to be to for you to sit in a tub full of chocolate? Well, okay, not all the way. Well, I'm worried about a yeast infection, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> You know how many Hershey's we got right now? Right, okay. That's a lot of chocolate. Chocolate would be fun. That would so be wait, a lot of fun. Is this our way of announcing the launching of uh, Anti Sugars Only Fans? Like, how does this. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. Andre! Okay. Proud of you. I'm going to have a bra. Can we ask you a question? A string, chocolate splattered all over my splattered. body. Splattered. Why are we splattered? Why can't we do Brussels sprouts? Like a photo yeah. shoot oh, covered I, in Brussels sprouts watch out, watch Brussels and Swiss sprouts. chard. I'm sorry, come here. Like a photo shoot in Swiss chard. Okay. Andre, Andre come does uh, us, Andre. Andre does sensual oh, oh, not, sensual photography. <laughs> Andre can't come on the screen. He ain't got a shirt on. No, Andre is wow. literally walking around like a, a daddy a that didn't work on, on the house all day. He got a white beater on. He got a, he got a ten year old. He's setting the box. he's setting the tone. He's, so he's coming in he strong for summer. In his head. Yeah, he got a red cup in his oh, hand. Was he ain't got no socks on? <laughs> Um, Andre, you do sensual Shush. photography. Kim is open to the idea of doing sensual, a sensual photo shoot. She wants to do long hair with a bow in the middle. Just long, long like long hair that goes the, to her all feet. All the way down, just mm -hmm. hair. Wouldn't that be cute? I told her to be a little bit open, like <sighs> what, like being a, a tub full of bubbles and you can't see anything, but she says everybody's done that. What would you suggest for Kim Whitley? Uh, what about very, a tub with chocolate? You didn't have to tell them about that. She wants you to tell them chocolate. That's going to be about $500 okay. worth of chocolate. What about Jello? You know they don't use real food in shoots. Right? Oh, what do I they use? I tried to tell her that. You didn't try to tell nothing. me nothing. What do they use? <laughs> what do they use? They have all kind of faux stuff that they use. You okay. Know? Well, what would you suggest shoot. for Kim? Um, I'd have to think about it. Think about it, because she's a very beautiful woman. I could woman. do a dominatrix shot. Oh, I did that next Friday. You yeah. dominatrix without even a dominatrix. Yeah, you dominatrix in a 100% cotton t-shirt. What about <laughs> like a stud look? No, we don't want okay. you doing stud. You already you have a lot of testosterone anyway. We're trying okay. to chill, tone down. How about uh, a horseback? Like nude on a horse? Yeah. With the hair? With the hair oh, flowing oh, That might be you. cute. That horse take off, that'd be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta get old, you gotta have to get an old horse. TMZ. <laughs> I'll be like, oh shit! <laughs> Kim, have you ever ridden a horse? You have. It's over. Oh, can you imagine? She's naked, kind of hanging on the one leg. All right. <laughs> because the horse didn't took off. Yeah, y'all don't know if you don't know how to ride a horse. A mermaid. Okay, I like a mermaid. Why can't she? Uh, Okay, yeah, like washed up, like yeah. washed up on the why, beach. Why I gotta be washed up? No, then not that, washed up. That's not washed up thing. on the beach. That'd be cool with, with your my, breasts. With my and... makeup dripping <laughs> down my face. No, no, Finish that sentence. Like, like, bro, that ring. Remember the ring? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, the girl on the ring with the long hair going. <laughs> A ring photo shoot, but with big boobs. <laughs> gonna do a ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you're listening to this podcast, Kim actually looked like the the girl from the ring. Oh my gosh! No, we want to do a sexy mermaid. Okay, 
So if you're laying on the beach, washed up, it's sexy. You're kind of like sleeping beauty. Oh. And maybe a man, like a model, who you get picture kissing her, like a light kiss on her mouth. The man ain't gonna kiss no mermaid. <laughs> just says, you do it with a mermaid. You gonna, why wouldn't a man kiss a mermaid? You done washed up on the shore or something? You done oh, something, you're sick, oh, something wrong with you. Andre, you <laughs> drive me on the beat. You'd be all up on that mermaid hump. <laughs> I might be at the kiddies, but yeah, I ain't going be, in for the you'd kiss. You'd be right on that mermaid. Good but what is if the bottom half is the bottom half like a fish though? Like is, every, is everything a fish? <laughs> well, it just won't do anything. Yes, but her boobs would be. I got several out. things I can say about that. <laughs> since, I, <laughs> but since I had but I like harassment training, I, yes, yeah, Kim had a uh, sexual harassment class, so she can't. She do you know she's not harassing you at the rate that she normally does, Chris? No, I, yeah, I, a little I, disappointed. I found out it was wrong. She no, she found out it was illegal and fu punishable by jail. Is this no, no no? This is this is two funny mamas. You're dealing with uh No, because uh, now in Hollywood they got Scott Rudin, yeah. who was the produ the big producer behind To Kill a Mockingbird really? and another movie. He was he threw a computer he smashed a computer on his assistant's hand. Well don't and, throw and, a computer and, at somebody and but that's what he was doing. The work environment was horrible, so he he's had to step away. They took away all his stuff right now. Well, you're so, so Kim, Kim, you got to write a check because I'm gonna say you. Yeah, Andre is going. You let me tell you something. Andre, <laughs> Andre going. The moment Andre leaves this house and COVID is over, he, you gonna be slapped with a lawsuit so big. I'm I'm telling you that now. But see, he don't I remember. I got cameras. Not only I'm gonna show him sneaking in my room. <laughs> <laughs> What Andre, you, you forget that he got the last time he had any clothes on. Right. Kim was out of town, oh, <laughs> looking at him on her phone. I turned that camera on. I was like, "Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> wait a minute! Oh my God! Is he bringing in through the back door?" <laughs> Chris, Kim has cameras all over her house, in the trees, Doesn't outside. The me. Yeah, she's got she's got a gate, so you can't. She's impenetrable, but she's got <laughs> oh, <cameras> impenetrable. <laughs> Just call me first. <laughs> she has, I'm gonna let you in. She has her cameras, and like you wouldn't even believe class. where she has cameras, so she can see every every part of her house from her cell phone. She's seen UPS men chunk stuff over her oh, gate, oh, hey. in, or in the neighbor's house, over in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, she like, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I saw that. That's what I tell them. So when they say we delivered it, she's like, no, you threw it over the neighbor's gate. I That's see it. So she's caught Andre several times. So wait, so what was the harassment uh, class for? Is that for one of the shows you're a part of? A uh, new show I'm doing. No, it's, it's not a new show. We're just going to our second se season, 20s on BET. Yeah, well, Lena Way. Lena Way. Lena Way. And I, uh, I play JoJo's mom, which is Lena Way's uh, real life who the girl's playing. And I play her mother, so, which I do need Can to I interrupt for a second? Chris, do you have that video of Lena Waits telling people to follow us? Is that kind of oh, hard to pull up right yeah. now? It is at the moment, yeah, okay. sorry, okay. yeah. Yeah, Lena Waits, uh, who, who won an Emmy for her Master work on Master of None, which was the episode that Kim was in. She wrote, she writes, she's the executive producer and creator of The Shy. And uh, she wrote Queen and Slim. Queen and Slim. And she's, the show you're doing is 20s. 20s. Which is uh, fabulous. You're really funny in 20s. You're oh, really, really funny. Thank you. So Lena Way loves Kim. She does love She Kim. absolutely loves And they're working together on a, on a separate project. Yeah. Other projects. It's my niece. Lena? Mm-hmm. You know, it's so funny. But she be, be like, but it's funny. Lena, <laughs> Lena be the boss of me. Lena called me and yell at me. I'd be like, wait a minute, I'm not. I really like <laughs> Lena Way. <laughs> I, I really, really like Lena Way. She's really, she's really sweet. Yeah. So smart, talented. So you had to go to a second. Yeah. And every time you do a project, start something or a new season, you have to go to a sexual harassment seminar. We do. You know? And it's the same seminar. And did you learn anything? I did. You can even catch a case if I'm on the phone talking to you, telling tell you, you some nasty. about my escapades from last night. Yeah. If the and person if somebody is walking around and they hear it. Yeah, Lawsuit. because they, yeah, they don't want to hear you talk like that. Oh, Caroline Ray called, but I can't tell her. Wow, name drop. Yeah, wow. well, there it is. Well, I wow, said that name drop Caroline be like, oh, you're doing your podcast with Sherry? Yeah, so I don't want to say what I'm doing. I'm, telling, I'm at the doctor's. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can't tell you with me, huh? Oh no. man, this is awkward. Because because she was like, we could have done a. Oh, it called her. Oh shit. Call her. Because put her on speaker. Carol, she wanted to do a podcast with Kim. Oh, uh-huh. she made it. She made it very clear when she uh, guest hosted. But if, for them to be best friends, you think she'd know? Well, I need to do all the work first, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, because she was waiting for Kim to go. It's okay, just that I'm so busy. You busy? All I'm so. Oh my god, I'm just so terribly busy. That is just so difficult for me to do business things. So you're British busy? Is that say, I was gonna say, I know technically you're clocked in, but clock out from that bullshit. Yeah, where, where, where you come with the accent? I oh, yeah. the oh, person this, is a, this is a table read. Yeah, like you got an accent with, with the I never do Cockney accent. I never do accents or, or characters on television. Like you did, my favorite thing that you ever did was that damn one with that funny wig. What was it called? That little page. Boy, oh, you're talking about trial and error. Trial and error with was, John Lithgow. I'm gonna tell you, I ain't never been a fan of Sherry Shepard. <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, did I say that? You oh, did. You did. I'm sorry. I've been a friend of Sherry Shepard. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. I'm a fan. You know, your friends be working. You don't be a fan. But when she did that day of trial and error, it was called trial I and error. I said this half. I said trial and error. <laughs> I said this half. really can act. <laughs> I was watching, I would rewind it to see, and I'd be feeling like she stole some of my moves. <laughs> I was like, it was, was a woman, it was a woman who had several n- neurological disorders. It was so dumb. I had a lot of neurological No, disorders. the best one was when you got something when you passed out. What was that one? Oh, it was, I don't remember you what it was just called. Fall out. It was, yeah, it wasn't proper, proper, proper agnosia. I don't remember what it was, but when you, when I saw beautiful artwork, I think. Yes, it was the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. <laughs> she was saying beautiful painting and she just passed out on the screen. I walked backwards. I had facial blindness. It was all kinds of neurological symptoms. And it was with John Lithgow. It really was a yes. funny series. No, I believe I, on the third, se- third season, I probably would have won an Emmy. Yes, yeah, you would have won an Emmy. Won. Absolutely. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> well, yeah, but this is what it would have been for acting. But thank you for that. I, I really appreciate that. I appreciate that. that. The, no, you, uh, you're this good. totally <laughs> random thing that's so funny because uh, Sherry, I think it was after I'd met you, but uh, Nick Nicholas D'Agosto was he on that show? Yeah. So Nick he, was the star he, of the show. Yes, okay. he was my. Father. He is most known for a brief three episode stint on The Office where he played Jan's assistant slash lover, yes. and yes. I remember talking to him because we had him on our show for something that happened in The Office. And all he did was talk very, very positively about you and how much how fun the show was, and what a shame that it, it's crazy how certain shows just go away. Yeah, it was a show with John Lithgow, and and our director won so and was nominated for an Oscar and won an Emmy for directing The Office. And they had really, and then we had Kristen Chenoweth, so it had very weird. I don't know if you can find the show anymore. It Maybe was on so Netflix. Good. Why did you um, go it was away? so it was because we were kind of the redheaded stepchild on on uh, NBC. They didn't have anything to pair us with. It should have been a Netflix show. Yeah, it should have been a Netflix show. And so they had nothing to pair us with. And so we just kind of fell by the wayside. But um, John Lithgow, Lithgow. he's so good. And he played a man. It was based off of How to Get Away with Murder and uh, The Staircase, all these crime shows, but in a funny way. It was like like The Office or like, you know, all of these other kind of docudrama. Docu-comedy. And you really got to play something shows. different. And, and how, I got to play something different. How did you talk? You talked funny. I talk like this. My name is Anne, and I'm your secretary. And I like to, uh, and my husband, he has a big penis, but I can't see it because I have facial blindness. So every time he comes in front of me with the big penis, I don't see anything. But I can feel it, though. <laughs> was that talk- your lines? Yeah, it was lines like that. Yeah, and that's how I talked all the time. <laughs> been a horrible disease to have yeah but it was it was was, you know that's why we're actors we like to do different things we like to be different from who we are no kim how about whenever uh sherry was on 30 rock i have a friend him and his wife like they're obsessed with when sherry said ham oh i I didn't watch 30 rock because that's right after tracy morgan had fired me from his show so i wouldn't watch it (laughs) (laughs) I never know Tracy Morgan fired you. 
heard you. All right, how does that work? Show? Oh, the Tracy, Tracy Morgan, Morgan show. show. Let's break Come that down. Williams. Right, and Tamla and Tamla, Tamla Jones. Jones. See, Straight this is off. what happened, Sherry. See, she, we were trying to shine a little light on poor Sherry over here, and Kim steals it back. So wait, what does he, did Sherry did does Tracy go up to you and say, Kim, you know, it's not working out. We're gonna let you go. No, how I never saw him. He hid. The producers had to come. They didn't Tracy tell me right there. My how, does that, how does that go? Well, what happens is you just don't. They reshoot the pilot. It was a pilot. And they, you, and they, did they get somebody to replace you, or they no, just took you took out? Took the whole part out. Oh wow, you were you, whatever Remember, you affected him that much that he just no. He, he wouldn't so even his call, or is it a budget thing? Like, how does that work? I, I don't know what happened. But, but you blamed still, him. I blamed you absolutely. I was did like, Tracy, you could have saved my. Did you steal something? The laughter. <laughs> <laughs> So stupid. Oh my gosh, you got fired. Oh, me and Tracy are friends. Now, I never told Tracy that. I said, one day I'm going to tell you Tracy. You should tell Tracy. I'd be like, Tracy, how do you let me get, because we became friends afterwards, but I'm going to be like, Tracy, how do you let me get fired? That's hysterical. Isn't that hysterical? That's like when I got fired by Damon Wayans. Right, that's show. what I told you. I was like, we've all been fired before. We've all been fired. And it's devastating when it happens. Yeah. You know, but you you look back on it, you like, you know what? I still worked. Oh yeah, I was supposed to get fired. What you doing with the dog? What's up, Dex? You say hey to your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> For our listeners, a dog just came in here, Dex. <laughs> the little mutt mutt just dog. Just because you think we smell the same, come on, knock it off. Oh my god, the mutt, if oh, we had some tattoos on Dex. I can't say <laughs> that. Wrist harassed, reincarnated. Right? Yeah. No more white stereotypes. I got you. Ew. His pee pee is probably wet because he pee pee. That's down. usually what a pee pee is wet. Because do we pee-pee. do we want to talk pee pee on this show? No, not really. Okay. Oh, you know what? What we should do? Should we talk about who we'd like to introduce? Well, I wanted to make sure we talked about everything else before oh, we before we went. Oh, there. guys, we have a live virtual comedy show coming yes. up on May twenty first. Kim and I. It's two funny mamas live virtually, May twenty first. Uh, from Kim Whitley's garage, <laughs> live comedy oh, show. So. We hope so that we that we'll clear out the garage in time. But it is a uh, six p.m. Pacific Standard Time, nine p.m. Eastern Time. You can go to rushticks.com slash two funny mamas. It's on the screen right up above, right up there. Yeah, right there. And to buy tickets and help us out. You yes, can, you don't have to leave. You house. can be sitting on your couch with a t-shirt and no underwear on. Oh, and just laugh from your couch. We would prefer you put on underwear. I'm just saying, but you don't have to. You right. can just, you know, you yeah. you got to put on a. The dog ate the, the dog f- ate the fork. Oh, damn it, girl. Okay, you, these wow. puppies. Um, so we're going to. So you know, please buy tickets buy for tics. our virtual comedy show. It's going to be so funny. Me and Sherry are going to do stand up. If you haven't seen us do stand up, and then we're going to come together and do uh, either like a podcast thing or talk about, or we're going to do some comedy together. And we might, yeah, we'll talk and because usually we, when we talk and we stand up and do stand up together, we have some really funny stories, but um, yeah, we tell yeah, it's a live, it's a live virtual comedy show and it's not, and it's not going to stay on the, on the air. So once you yes. once you see it, it's gone. It's gone. So we're not. Then we're going back on the road. So if you don't see this, you're gonna miss us. Yeah. So we're just telling you that. So that's gonna be fun. So we're please yeah. Get your tickets at Rush Tix T I X. People are listening. Rush R U S H Tix T I X dot com slash two funny mamas. Yes, for our virtual comedy show. And I'm trying yes. to think. With it, we have merchandise at buyjack dot com. Uh, slash two funny mamas. We have merchandise, all kinds of T-shirts, and and coffee mugs. And Ooh, we should sell, should we sell merchandise at our comedy, our virtual comedy show? Oh, that's funny. You want us to be hawking funny. merchandise? Is yeah, what to like sell. when we're on the road, we hawk merchandise. <laughs> so we should be on virtual. That, and this will be our meet and greet, and you will have a virtual right. meet and greet. Hey, how you doing? Hey. I see you in the yellow. I see you, girl. That's our meet and greet. <laughs> Because now when we go, now we're gonna start going back on the road, Chris, and we can't do meet and greets. We used to do meet and greets where if you pay a little bit extra, you could come back into a special area and we would take pictures with you, hug you, talk to you. We can't do that anymore. So, which I'm I think is really yeah, kind of which is messed sucks. up all my play. Yeah, because that's, that's how you used to yeah, meet your men. That's how I used to meet the men. Just I just like hugging people. I get back there. 
I like hugging people. I miss touch. I did. Andre came and hugged me today, and I I miss touch so much I didn't even fight him off. Oh, really? He took came him. behind me. He came. Yeah, normally Andre, I'm like, if you don't get your hands off me, I'm usually but you did, and just hug. You know, I let him hug me. Let me tell you why. Why? Like me and you hug, our titties touch. <laughs> <laughs> And it's squishy. Oh, you want to feel, you want to feel a little something nudge on the side of your leg? Is that what you're saying? No, no Chris, it's oh. a chest, like a man's oh. chest the of a man's and the chest. arms, the oh. heart is, like Chris, you tall. I would just be able to. So she would feel enveloped within yes, your arms. Yes, it's a whole nothing thing. about your penis. Those tight yellow pants you wear. Hello, <laughs> mustard color. The mustard color. Yes. Yeah. Little French mustard pants. Oh, yes. French mustard. <laughs> oh, Dijon pants. <laughs> little French. <laughs> Be uh, mustard pants, have an ass. Oh my gosh. But it's it's just everything within. Like if you hug, she feels enveloped. So it's just it's a yeah, touch. Hugging thing. a man is a different thing. Uh, it's a, a roughness that you have. And so when he uh -oh. hugged me, I didn't I didn't like take my elbow and punch him. <laughs> he just hugged me. I was like, okay. <laughs> Just, okay. just threw in the towel. Okay, got it. I did. I threw in the towel today. I'm like, okay. He was pulling uh, on my wig and everything. His, <laughs> his stomach was on my wig, pulling the wig back. When did he hug you like that? When you were making your your fish, your cod. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was hugging me. And I let him. I was like, okay. So I don't think that there was anything um, okay. well, hey, else that we needed. We do want to say it's going to be Mother's Day Sunday. So happy Mother's Day to you two and happy Mother's Day and happy one year. And we'll have a special one year episode next week. So look forward to that. Yeah, we don't really have a special Mother's Day show planned because it just got kind of crazy for us. And we didn't want to do no, it well, how about crazy. how about the five lives that we've done in addition to keeping the podcast going each week too? So kudos right. to you, moms. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do a live this week because you are going out of town. I am on Friday, so, so we, we so, can do it. At, so I could probably do it from wherever I am. I'll just we're gonna do it on the plane. Oh, on the phone. Oh, that's right. We can't. Do I need to take my computer, Chris, and do it? I'm always down for content. Let's make it happen. Because we have to do it on the computer, right? Uh, you can do it on your phone. phone. You can do it from your cell phone. Oh, okay. I did. I did. You did your the podcast from your cell phone at your dad's. I remember? sure did. Let me make sure I packed this little gizmo. What is that? Oh, your little, my, your, your uh, my uh, pot. What's that thing called? The tripod. Tripod. And you probably need a little ring light for this phone. Oh, Purchase a ring light from Amazon. I do have a ring light. Remember that you little to take ring it. light? Remember, but I used it at. The, remember, it was little and mm -hmm. the battery died. Oh yeah, and it didn't work. It was tiny. So you have to make sure it you have so the battery. So what kind of ring light for the phone? Like a one that just like clips this? on the yeah. I have a clip one, You're but right. it doesn't have a battery and it doesn't work. We, we but keep I'm going home, back I can put this. a battery on. Okay, well if you Your if tone it works, really bad because I'm getting irritated. Works with the battery. I, we, we she going. acts like her getting irritated is going to do something to me. Like ooh, <laughs> Sherry get irritated. It's not going to do nothing but make oh, me irritate her some more. Oh, my gosh. I realized that uh, Kim was going out of town. And so I thought, wow, I really wanted to do a Mother's Day episode. Because we, we we started on Mother's Day. And I wanted to do a Mother's Day episode. And I realized, I don't want to do a guest. I can't do this podcast without you. So I don't want to do a guest. But I've done it without you. Yes, and you can continue to do it. So I know that when I gotta leave town. No, it's I not can't fair. do this without you. You can't. You've never tried. I don't want to try. I want you and I'm to not try. Going to. Nope. See, this is why your men break up. <laughs> you do not budge. I to this Taurus is stubborn. Taurus. Yes, because I don't. I don't. Oh I don't. I don't. I play well with others, but not on this podcast. Like there's a groove that you and I have. Like I'm the straight, I've so, because people don't realize I'm as crazy as you, but we can't have two crazies running around on this podcast. It'd be too much. So I've chosen the role of the straight person and the bossy person. Do y'all hear this bullshit? Anybody <laughs> here? Did she actually try to act like I have, I have made myself conservative 
and quiet. <laughs> Chris, 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 I am. Chris is straight, man. Yes, I am. Do you hear Chris chuckling? Because if you ask people who's the crazy one on Two Funny Mamas, they would go Kim. No, they wouldn't. Yes, they would. No, they wouldn't. They absolutely wouldn't. They go. And if you went, who's the straight person? Sherry. Who's the bossy person? Sherry. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. They would not say that. I'm gonna have Chris pull up some clips of your craziness. <laughs> I've never taken my foot and stuck it in the camera. That I've was never one zoned time. I've never zoned out and been on the cell phone going, what? What? You don't never catch me rocking back and forth. You don't catch me going off into a rant. You I don't that's all crazy behavior. And it's okay. You do it and you do it well. Oh God, we minute. each play our roles very well, Kim. So what happens is you tend to get a guess. You are the crazy one. Your guess is usually the straight person. Maybe with the exception of David Arnold, because he's just out there. Caroline was off the chain. Caroline was off the chain. And and you took kind of more of the straight yes. with Caroline. But because I've been straight so long with you, it's hard for me to go crazy with somebody else. So I don't like the I don't like it. I'm not gonna do it. My favorite whatever Kim uh, has a co-host, if she does need, if she, if she feels the need to move it along, she, like, she throws almost like a stick in the spoke to be like, okay, we were going to maybe talk about relationships. That's my favorite, Kim, when she gets out of her normal rotation and she tries to play the move it along. <laughs> it's the funniest thing in the world. Like she's trying to keep an agenda. She could absolutely host anything on the planet, but it's funny when she slips back to the, well, as we were saying, no, we weren't. <laughs> no, no, we weren't. Because they be talking. They, 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 talk. they, they, they be People bored. talk. Who going to fall asleep? You're not supposed to fall asleep. If they don't hurry up and get to their point, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> I want to see Kim go on like Joe Rogan, where she's expected to be there for like three hours. Oh, no. Yeah, that, no. that's too long. Oh, my God. That dig on Joe Rogan. I would hope you. Right. You ever follow Joe Rogan on stage? No. Oh, yes. I think I followed him at the uh, comedy store. Comedy room. No. Remember the grapple? Was that him? Was that Joe? Who was that that followed? Um, you, oh, no, no, that no. wasn't Joe Rogan. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. That wasn't Joe Rogan. I'll be getting my white people mixed up. <laughs> we all do. It gets the best of us. <laughs> Joe Rogan was always at the store. I used to always have to follow Joe Rogan in the main room at the comedy store. And he would take it to such another level. He would kill. And I was scared every single mm -hmm. time having to follow Joe. Because he would always end with this one bit that he would end with, a lion making love. Like if a man was like a lion, the way the lion has sex at the zoo. And if a man did it, and that was his killer bit, as soon as I heard the words, I was like, here you go. He would have people on their feet. <laughs> it's like, and then, he, then he'd be like, you welcome this girl, and she's this and that. He gave me a great intro. And I come out to silence. Silence. <laughs> it made him laugh so <laughs> daggone hard, Joe Rogan. And that's so funny, because Joe was probably like, here you go. Yeah, hand me to my good girl. <laughs> here you go. Good luck. Yeah, exactly. It would, he would, but you yeah. know, it makes you stronger when you follow somebody, because you, you got it, you got it. Before. I told you what uh, LaBelle Crawford said. Iron sharpens iron. Iron sharpens he iron. He told me that. He said, I don't want a weak person ahead of me. A lot of comics want somebody weak. They don't want anybody strong. They don't want to follow me. He said, but you got to remember, iron sharpens iron. I was like, all right, LaBelle Crawford. Yeah, he is, and that's what Joe Rogan was. And he used to always run around the comedy store, and he used to go why fill my say, leg. Why do you say was? Is he gone? He no, moved no. to Texas. He, oh, he, he's he's was. No, oh, he's like he mega rich now. Oh. Well, he no, he he's not in L.A. anymore. He moved. Oh, okay. Oh, because of the whole political stuff? No, I think it was like, uh, he said it was like how California was handling stuff. He wanted to be able to do shows. Yeah, because oh. Texas is fully open. Wow, he just so rolled they, out. He's rolling. He's got a bunch of money. He's, he's got a lot, a lot of millions. Yeah, you're kind of your own what? satellite. Oh, he has his own satellite? I'm saying what? he is essentially his own, like wherever he yeah, goes is going to be like a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. Now he, I remember, <laughs> he used to host Fear Factor. Now he hosts oh, all yes, of that. He hosts Joe, all the yes. MMA stuff. Yes. Yeah. And I remember he was hosting an MMA gig, Chris, and it was the women fighting. I love seeing the women fight in the MMA. Sure. And one girl got knocked out. She had a knot on her forehead, and Joe was like, oh my God, she looks like Frankenstein. Look at her. <laughs> I could stop laughing. He was like, look, at, does anybody see that big knot? In her head, it was so damn funny. That's what happens in fighting. 
but he was just he's so very funny. expressive for sure. So he wait. Was so so, so you all right? So you had talked about uh, a guest. Now you all, uh, you I don't know. If Wait, you wanna... one one other thing. I want to get Kim's opinion on this one news item that we want to talk about. I've been waiting to ask you. <laughs> you better hope I know what it is. I'm going to tell you what it is. This is the a Smith. It has something to do with the Smith family. What is the problem when you get Botox and they put too much here? You can't. And now this is going down like that. <laughs> Your eyebrows are going yes. down. <laughs> And I, I got to go back and get him back up. I said, he done put too much Botox here. And now my so face is going out too. Yeah, so I was supposed to go get it fixed Saturday. <laughs> oh but I got, it's a mess. Honey, it's a mess. This is why you don't have any facial expression either. That That's all right. I'm going to get some tape. Stop get getting it off of Groupon. Up. Just go to a regular Botox. We talked Botox. to her about it, didn't we, Sherry? Let me tell you, these people will take your money. I went to some place I saw on Instagram and they do lymphatic drainage massage. Mm -hmm. And they, it's supposed to drain your your lymph, uh, some kind of lymph where it gets all of the water out of your body. Okay, and I it, it shows all these before and after pictures where like after they do this lymphatic you're drainage, skinny. like you're skinny. And then they use some kind of machine, some kind of vacuum. Freaking, and then, so I called them because they showed all these great before and afters and I go there. First of all, I think it was $300. And I can't, I didn't even want to tell you because I was like, Kim's going to kill me. But they had these amazing before and afters. So she says, we're going to, after you get done, we're going to have all of the pictures. And That's you're why she's telling so me on the podcast so I can't cuss out. Yeah, she can't cuss me out. <laughs> she said, it was such, and she was like, we're going to have pictures for you because when would you like to make your next appointment? We suggest six, you know, one every two months. And I was like, at three, no, you're crazy. Uh-uh. And I said, I want to see the pictures first. So they sent me pictures, Kim. I swear to gosh, I look the same. Oh, they, they, I just look greased up. That's so they all. were going to just show. They were saying look what we did. Yeah, they they it's did. The they that... did before oh. and then after, and I'm like, it looked like before and before. So you got food. Yeah, like it's everything the looked the same. My stomach looked the same. Oh, My, it, you the know same. what I look like? I, you know those plastic surgeons after they take somebody out, the person be on the table all greased up. Yeah. That's what I look like. Just you know what. She got fooled by the same people that run puppy mills. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, they the wanted people, to sell me all scabs, this stuff, the slimming no cream and all this tea. And I was like, no, nah, I look the same. And she was like, no, you don't look the same. Look, you were like an inch heavier. And I'm like, I'm still an inch heavier. She didn't say that. Nothing has changed. You just greased me up. Did you say that to her? Yeah. I'd have been like, and give me my money back. I wanted to do that, but I thought Did they was going to yeah, I fell asleep. And but they put the machine on you, and it feels like it's sucking. You know when your skin gets caught in something, yeah. that that's not a good feeling. So it feels just, like your skin is getting caught in this. So machine. they just brought their vacuum. And yeah, they had to put it on a two, and you know I'm like a horse. So I they can take a lot. So they took a hand vac. It's like a hand vac. Yeah, probably <laughs> black and decker. Now, I don't even know because I was asleep. It probably was a black and decker vacuum they put on me on my stomach. Now, what some, it was some apartment. Hey, man. Two dudes, one's rubbing you, one's got the vacuum oh on you. What God, were you they doing? Black and they didn't on put me. a black and decker. They covered the part up. No, they Probably. put a piece of tape on it. Because it kept feeling like my skin was catching. I was like, ow. Oh, yeah, they ow. were tripping. Man, yeah. if I could find these pictures you didn't show yelp these them? Pictures. No, I didn't yelp yeah, them. I saw them on Shabon. Instagram. Now, I'm going to tell you that. She does that with everybody. It's just a mess. Yeah, I'm going to have to find these pictures. I, I can't even they say They got them. hot in here. That's your ass. That's my age. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, oh my, my ass ain't hot. My arms are. It's weird. It's probably, and you know what? It's probably that vaccine. Oh, Everything really? that happened, I'd be like, it's the vaccine. Oh, do you feel differently from your vaccine now? No, but everything that happened, when a dude don't call me back, I'd be like, it's that vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's hysterical. Oh God! So you, so you, she you don't for it. You don't feel it. I took my different. mammogram today. Have you done your mammogram in the last year? Look, okay. Look. Here's the pictures. I can't even show you, Chris. Look at that. Don't it look the same? Absolutely the same. <laughs> it looked. Did my lymph had drainage? They just greased you up. Look at that. It looks exactly the same. Oh, they lie. <laughs> like every, they just and take then the I picture. Know. They take the picture from higher up. <laughs> More but they angle. took a picture of my legs all greased up. I don't even have a before. Mm. Because when I said to the girl, do I get my picture? She was like, oh, yeah, 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 hold on. 
They weren't even taking pictures. So this is all, this is probably when I fell asleep. Look, they looked the exact they same. They were taking pictures of your sleep? That's illegal. Well, I fell asleep. I'm That's sorry. illegal. Oof. Look at that, same thing. That yeah. looks like a big ass uh, Cornish hen. It, I, I Look at say, that. And that looked like a turkey. That looked like a turkey. Yep. Straight I can't even show turkey. these pictures, Chris. They're too embarrassing. It's all greased up. <laughs> on <my> stomach. Dang. <laughs> Look like Thanksgiving over there. <laughs> Oh, wait, the, the thing, literally, and then we're going to move on to our special guest. It's about the Smiths. Yes. Willow Smith has come out as polyamorous. Right. On Red Table Talk, mm -hmm. she told her grandmother and her mother, Jada Pinkett Smith, that she is labeling herself as polyamorous. Mm -hmm. uh, Alexa, what is the definition of polyamorous? I have a couple definitions for the adjective polyamorous. One, having relationships with multiple partners with the knowledge and consent of all involved, engaging in polyamory. Two, open to having such relationships regardless of one's experience or current practices. Alexa, stop. So it's having multiple relationships First with of all, consenting how adults. How is my Alexa answering to you? <laughs> I got a problem with that. Does she know who She's supposed to be voice recognition only. Because I told Alexa, Alexa, the next time you mess up, I'm going to fine you. I think Alexa's polyamorous. Ah, oh, don't, don't. Very good. So, so polyamorous citizenry is your, you are connecting with more than one person and consenting adult. It's typically sexual in nature. Why is it just called a threesome? Because it's more than three people. It could be four or five. Oh, oh it's, so a, it's a gangbang. No, not, what, not even why, a gangbang. Why do you know all this? Uh, he said, "Why no, you know it's this? not a gangbang. That's not it. So this it's is just multiple, Explain. multiple relationships with consenting adults. So it's not like you have one boyfriend or a girlfriend. You have a village. You That's have a love village. Open relationship. Yes. There's a, yeah. But you know, so Willow At has come age, out. She's Willow like twenty so or twenty one. That's what I was gonna say. What? And so her grandmother said, "This sounds to me like you just want a bunch of sex with a bunch of people." And Willow said, "Gammy, I'm the least one in my group." that is having sex. So it's not about sex oh, with me. And she said, I, she, but she said she became polyamorous because she did the research on marriage and realized that a lot of marriages break up over infidelity. So why don't you be polyamorous? Uh, for me, I think Willow, I, I, I respect her a great deal. I think sometimes youth, when it's at play, you kind of think something different 10 years from what you thought 10 years before. Oh, I can't wait to see what Willow becomes in 10 years because she's so grown and so mature now. Yeah. I can't even imagine what she's going to be in 10 years. But I, you know, I just think that's a big fancy word for saying you want to do what you want to do with yeah. who you want to do it with. And uh, it just be hard. I'm polyamorous too then. And I've been polyamorous. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm like. It kind of sounds just like how I've been living. <laughs> right. But you know what? This is the difference between me and you, Chris. I tell the dudes I'm seeing other people. You don't say nothing with the women. You just go ahead and see them. See, that's oh, when that I get confused. <laughs> if you just say, hey, look here. But I can't, I'm so glad for Willow because now I'm going to use that. Willow has educated me because the next dude I meet, I'm going to say, look here, I'm pa polyamorous. Polyamorous. I'm a polyamorous. I'm going to say something, letting you know up front, don't get all connected and get in your feelings. Because I'm polyamorous. I'm polyamorous. <laughs> Now what? Now what happens, Sherry? Kim, would you let uh, Bill Gates into your little group because he's gonna? He's about to be single. Bill Gates about to be single. They're oh, now sure. Bill and Melinda announcing they're ending their marriage. Let me tell you what Bill wants now. Oh yeah. Bill wants freak of the freaking gotta week. Gotta be. What you he gotta, been you gotta be so bored when you're that, that rich. That when you're that rich and you've been married that long, when you get out of a marriage, you want freakity deakity. You want, you don't want no woman your age. You don't, not trying to have no conversation with a woman. All you want. don't want to hear no conversation. You don't want to hear, you want freak of the week. He you want 19 dancing. year old, he want a nine pole year. dancing. Mm -hmm. You want to be called daddy. Oh, that's. Uh, uh, you want a woman to shut her mouth and just get to getting. We've well, been married that long, yeah. so that's how we clock Bill Gates. But I knew somebody that was in a polyamorous relationship. You did? Mm-hmm. 
They got conned by one person. I was going to say, it feels like yeah. there's just more opportunity for hurt. Someone, people are not well, inherently cool with that. When I was on Dish Nation, I said I would be concerned about the emotional aspect of it because, you know, if you're, what if somebody gets involved? Because you're all supposed to be consenting. But what if somebody falls for somebody within that love village? Then you got your hurt feelings. And then one of my co-hosts said, but Sherry, these kids today, they don't operate on emotions like that. Wow. Their kids today are like, whatever, whatever feels good. So they said, you're kind of old school with that emotion thing. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. So that was the only thing I wanted to discuss was the polyamory. I like to be in there because I learned. Yeah, because you learned. <laughs> you? No, I was just okay. So now we can move on. I don't, unless there was something you wanted to discuss. Well, you know, I like talking about some things. You got nothing to discuss. <laughs> and I've really been trying not to interrupt you. No, it's all good. I don't have nothing to say. Um, and people, you know, and this is why I interrupt you all the time. Right. I got my mammogram today. You did. That's what I'm saying. Have I, you had, when's the last time you had one? I did not have a mammogram. I had an uh, uh, ultrasound. Was, why? Because I was told that the ultrasound, they find more. But then, well, uh, I think that's what the mammogram is. It's called a mammogram, but they take a 3D. Do they do they take some gel, put it on your breast, and then look at it with a machine? Yes. Oh, no, I ain't do all that. Yes, now. I did that as opposed to them smashing my boob in the machine. No, it was smashed. It, but what a doctor told me, the difference between the ultrasound and the mammogram is, she said, an ultra, like if you're in the forest, an ultrasound goes straight through the forest on a path. Right. It doesn't detect on the sides if there's somebody there. Right. A mammogram, if you're going through the forest, goes all around. Right. So why it doesn't just stay because that was a person, a, a doctor about mammograms. The doctor about the ultrasounds was like she reversed it. Oh, it was Lord. like we catch ninety nine percent, one ninety nine more than a mammogram. And then I, so what I got was the three D because they said they got more and it's less angles and they just get it. Uh, but she said they could do back? it twice. Uh, I don't know yet, but it feels good. But you're supposed to be doing your own self exam, but I don't like touching my own titties. I don't like weird. touching mine either. We I have get turned to, on. Yeah, no, see, that's, I didn't, okay. And then it becomes straight more, it's not a breast exam again. anymore no, because I'm turning my cell phone. I didn't say go all up in the front of them. Just I go did. I started caressing myself up. like a man. No, you're supposed to I feel around. I started doing it slowly. And then I started talking to myself, like, how, you, how does that feel? And it just, it becomes, it just goes awry. And it, it becomes less of a breast exam and more of like a date and foreplay this is chris a i apologize call. to our listeners and to our just that's viewers. just what happens when i was trying myself. to give some education and it would, went and you did and i learned a lot i need to go fly back. well what is fly with that? kim's new uh, corporate rules oh yeah they, they, well yeah we can't talk about it but chris mm. i need you in my life because what i found out is a lot of women find a lump or a little bump or whatever it is because their man found it because they were touching them and they felt and they were like what's that Mm -hmm. So if I had a man, I would have him do, let me get it, Andre! Andre! Andre. Give yes. him a squeeze, Andre. Can you come in here, please? It, it is uncomfortable for me to touch my own breast for some weird reason. Not me, I but love the way my get, breasts feel. You don't like the way no, your breasts feel? Yeah, but once I put it's, baby oil all over in the shower, they said that's the best way to do it because you put soap in baby and then you can slide and feel, it's better. It's easier to feel if there's if any, there's kind, a, of, any yes, kind of- there's any irregularity. Irregularity in the shower Oh, so if soap. I put baby oil on my boobs, okay. I didn't mean, I meant soap and hand. water, oh God. Kim right, needs here. a breast exam. Come here. Come here. Why Kim needs a, what are you, what are you looking at? What I'm trying for? to say is, would you tonight just like press around my breast? Don't be go around my nipple. Just go around my breast and see if there's any kind of lumps. Why lumps. wait? Why not do it now? Uh, I thought about that, but I don't want to catch a case. And I don't uh, want our show to end. Right. Our show ain't going to end. I have no sensitivity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean because of your sensitivity. Oh, uh, Andre's Andre, Andre, mad I asked him to do it. That's what's killing me. I know, I asked Why Andre. Your face scrunched after up? our live, we get off the air. Andre's face is he so scrunched like, up. No, like, yeah, he like, like, like you're I asking said. him to walk in the freaking fires of hell. Right, I was like. But like, let me tell you about Andre. In his mud. As like, much stuff as he be talking, I asked Andre after the live. I said, Andre, my back is killing me. Can you rub my back? He was like, no, yeah, I can't. He did. 
I was like, my back is killing me. He was like, no, because they don't want to have sex. And I was like, you can't just rub my back. So if there is a woman out there that wants to have sex with Andre, please. Please. Please call him. Yeah, call, give us an See, email. Send him an email. I bet Something. there's about 50 in the comments right now. And if you want to, and just say, I want you to rub my back and. Hey, there we go. Right away. Instant call. <laughs> <laughs> But he straight told me no. He was like, no, I'm not massaging you. So Andre, I laid on the floor and everything. I just need you to go down the side in a circular motion and just check them. This will be my uh, new part-time job. So anybody needs a mammogram. <laughs> <laughs> Andre's mobile mammogram. Yes. Ma and call me Andre. a mammogram. <laughs> I'm the mammogram. <laughs> I'm the bad mammogram. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Bad mammogram. He's a mammogram. Shut your mouth. <laughs> that's, a, that's not a speaker. We're going down the street like the ice cream truck. He's a bad mammogram. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. There are people running outside. I'll get mine. Is the man who touches his breast a, with his, his head. Mammogram. <laughs> Shut right. your mouth. Ah, Damn yeah. right. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, we're stupid. Careful. Careful. <laughs> it, it's bedtime. Careful. It's uh, we're dumb. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was really funny. Okay, that was good. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I'm glad you didn't pee. So um... <laughs> All right. Okay. So, For anybody on. who had what joined us on our two and a half hour live, which was a lot of fun. Kim kept asking me to go to the bathroom, and I said no. I was like, who sits and drinks all this water and does not go to the bathroom? <laughs> and I drank literally about 60-something ounces. I was like, go to the bathroom. And I just bathroom. was like, I'm going to hold it. The problem is when you have too much water, and Andre, we were trying to do a mukbang that went yes. wrong, oh, a mukbang so that went seriously wrong, and Andre did something with a chicken bone. It was so funny. And there it was. <laughs> And I just let Why loose. Let it just, I couldn't man. stop it. No, she could not. I couldn't, Chris was horrified. Yeah, he oh, was. it was amazing. <laughs> I rewatched it today on our big screen. Oh, gosh, Here. because here's the thing, Kim's face, Chris when I jumped face. up, she looked down at her chair. Yeah, that and she was, was the like, funniest no, part. We gotta, we gotta stop this podcast. Like, it's over, good night. If you go, if you go back and rewatch it at the very end, yeah, track Kim's Maybe. eyes. That's how you know, she's not that, no one's that good of an actor. I, I'm. No one is. The way you tracked your eyes, I was like, that was real. <laughs> Is and you know, and so, um, but everything's okay. We're good. We're back to normal. But Kim, the way she you tracks see? her eyes, she <laughs> only one other time do I remember that. You see, I ain't sitting in that seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was... oh my gosh. The one the other time Kim tracked her eyes was she didn't know what was happening, was when we were going to go live and we were doing an Instagram. And we were going to announce that we were on live. So I was going to put in a request. Kim was going to accept my request for oh, us yes. both to announce that we were going live. But oh. she accidentally hit another request. And it brought up this woman in a hair bonnet named Nierica Brooks. And it was so Kim's funny. face when she saw that it was not me, but some woman going, oh, my God, how I get here? I thought Sherry had snatched off her wig, was trying to be funny. I didn't know what was happening. Oh, Your eye, so and that's what I've been rewatching over and over and over. When you first amazing. saw America, your face was frozen, like, wait a minute, who are you? And then from there, it was just a, a, a comedy of errors. You guys have got to see it. But Nierica made such an impression mm -hmm. on all of our fans and our followers because she was so funny that we had to interview her. Yeah, we had to talk to her. Mamas. And she, so. she made some startling confessions and then mm -hmm. some stuff we didn't know. And she talked more and we got to know Nierica Brooks, who we think would be uh, really good as like a guest every once in a while. Absolutely. She was so her. very funny. So I'll let you take it at heart. So uh, right now we'd like to show you our interview with Nierica Brooks. Bye bye, everybody. Shit. We, where is Chris at? We need to start. This. Okay. We're, we're starting. Yeah. Yeah, We've already start, started yes, it? Yes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, for real? We don't oh, have to use this. Just, no, just, no, just because yes, 
is all right. That's how good. we met. This, this is how we met. Erica is our guest. Yes. Is uh, Nierica Brooks, and we are loving life. For those yes. of y'all who are just now getting a taste of Nierica Brooks, we did a live last week. And Kim was supposed to do a live. I was running in the other room so I could be on her live. And she accidentally put on Nierica. If you guys want to see it, it's on both of our Instagrams. The look on Kim's look face. Look at Nierica. Look at Nierica had her bonnet on. She didn't have her makeup on. And she was just a surprise. I pushed the button. She came on. And Nierica came on. And it was just. It was sheer hilarity, comedy, sheer comedy, like it is now. She can't find nothing to pop the phone up. There you go. <laughs> no, I'm getting it. I, how I look, y'all. I look all right. I you look, look amazing. Yes. Better than Thank you did with you. the bonnet on your head. You had the bonnet oh, on. You know uh, don't, don't, touch don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. You good. Oh, oh, I thought you said you couldn't see nothing but the top. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. I'm, I'm going to get it together. You I got promise. It. You're great. <laughs> <laughs> you are amazing, Nierica. We, 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 brought you back on, we brought you on our podcast, Two Funny Mamas, oh, Nierica, my hurt. because so many people said you must bring Nierica back yes. on. We got, you were in such popular demand. Everyone was looking for you. Well, where is she? Why did she come back? You oh. were so funny. So well, we thank wanted you. To, yes. And we are so excited to have you on. We're very honored. We wanted to introduce you to our Two Funny Mamas family. You are Nierica Brooks. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I would be glad to. Hi, everybody. My name is Nierica Brooks. I'm an actress, a stand-up comedian. Um, I did some modeling, and I'm also a trans woman. So, um... A little bit about myself. I come from this small town, which is called well, Riviera Beach. Oh, wait, 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 wait. She come from a small town where? A small t- No, she said she's a trans woman. She said she's from a small town. But before that, she said she's a trans but woman. But the small town was really interesting. What town? <laughs> I think no, that's right, Kim. Thank you, baby. Oh, I'm never it's okay. called I... Riviera Beach. Yes, a little small get... town out here in Palm Beach, you know. We stay too not too far from the orange man. The you oh, know who the orange man oh, is. Yes. From the orange yes. man. Oh, you right over what? there, Nirma. Explain transgender woman because she don't understand. She it, said, obviously. I know exactly what it is. No, you it. don't know what it is because that's why you stopped. If you knew what a transgender woman was, you wouldn't have No, what stopped okay. me is that I didn't know that Ni Erica was a trans woman. But I played you... it all. I didn't either, and I was just gonna just let it go on and keep going. <laughs> you don't stop. <laughs> If somebody say, you know what, I got three titties. Yes, you do stop. That. Yes, you no, do you stop. just keep on going. If somebody says, you know what, I I, I used to be a white person. Then you stop. <laughs> the only right. thing, me Erica. Ooh, my ear ain't no fella. No. <laughs> and you stop for that. Oh. You stop for that. I, you, I, I, I did, a fool. She's a fool. You are crazy, nigga. So you're a trans woman growing yes. up in Palm Beach, Florida. What yes. made you try to get into stand-up comedy and acting? You're beautiful. You're so beautiful. I love you because you ain't got your body. You on. look like Kenya Moore. Well, ooh, thank you. <laughs> you know. Now, someone told me. Someone told me you, no. you like I'm myself. I am. Thank you. I'm myself. I am honored to, to favor Kenya Moore because she's a beautiful black queen. But I'm mm-hmm. honored to more look like myself than anybody okay. else. Okay. Feel okay. me? Oh, you look okay. beautiful. You look beautiful Thank like you. Kenya. You may maybe one day you stunt double for Kenya. You okay. know? Well, maybe I could be a double do. You know? I even wanted to dude. work for Mr. Tyler Perry one time. You know, and do Mud Deal his voiceover. I was like, hello, hello. <laughs> How you doing? You know? I wanted to do that. You know, but. Mr. Perry ain't paying me no man. What made you, were you always funny? <laughs> yes, yes, I've been a stand, I've been, 
I guess what most people would call it in my small town, a class clown for a long time. Yeah, we all started that way. I think that's the way yes. we all started as a class clown. It's so funny because I'm looking at I'm looking at your resume. You have quite a resume on IMDb. Um, you were in is it Gemma? Yes, it yes. and um, the sense of yep. Um, th that is a movie called The Sense of Self, and that is about yep. a trans woman movie and a woman who was married to her husband for twenty three years. And then he decided to transition. And her choice was, sense of self, was to stay or leave. In your stand-up, do you talk about, like, uh, do you talk about in your act about being a trans woman? Mm, I had one little joke I did. Well, I got two of them I used to do. One of them was, I was like, what if trans women do go to the army? You know, we're going to be a hot mess on the front line. You know, <laughs> people going to be getting shot up with makeups and fingernails and weeds <laughs> and stuff, honey, because we ain't got time to be sitting up there talking about shooting with no guns. We ain't that type of woman, you know? But that's mm -hmm. one of my little jokes. And then I have another one that I do. You know, one time I went to the mall and I met this dude, Dr. 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 And he kept on trying to harass me. Then he jumped out the bushes and asked for my phone number. And I told him, my number is 554. Five, <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh! ma'am. I Just love those it. type of stuff, you know, nothing serious. But it's it's so <laughs> it's so funny, Nierka. I would love you to tell. So, okay, let's just this walk me through what happened the day we met you. Did you think it was fake, or did you think it was what was going through your mind when we pushed the okay, live? Okay, honestly, um, for people to really realize that was me being the diva I am. You wouldn't caught me with my you know, me looking the way you saw me. But it, it happened. And I could have hung up, but God kept telling me, continue to talk to them people. You never know what might happen by that's just right. talking to these people. You know what you oh, said, it's, that. and that's the way you have to be in this business. It's like, continue, don't stop because we loved you so much. I love you so much that I want to ask you some stuff that we were going to talk about amongst ourselves. Did you see the Oscars, Nierica? Yes, I did. Yes, was <laughs> a partial of it, not all of it, because my okay, TV so. kept messing up. But I did get the <laughs> chance to see um, Regina King in her fabulous gown, and I did get to see um, Kim Yes, girl, you was fierce. Yes, with your red on, girl. You had, she did you good, baby. Yes, oh, ma'am. And Look you was sitting that. all in the car getting your makeup and stuff done. I said, do it, girl, do it. I want to be like you when I get big, you know? Love it. She Is there great. anything else about the Oscars that you remember that you want to talk about? Um, Do you like the fact that, you know, Daniel Kaluuya one for Best Supporting Actress in Judas and the Black Messiah. He was up against Lakeith Stanfield, also who was in Judas and the Black Messiah. And Leslie Odom, wasn't it? And Leslie Odom, who was in One Night in Miami. So I thought it was it was a lot of black folks. But it was unfair. Up for Oscars. But it was unfair because they put him in supporting category. And he was the lead in Judah and the Black Messiah, which I didn't know they could do, but someone said yes. they put him in that category because he had a better chance of winning. Of winning in the in the oh. category. Yes, they put well, him see, in. See, that's so something I, 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 you know, I didn't. Right, I, I probably missed that little uh, episode. I think Matisse no, that was, was just a little tidbit. That was a little tidbit. A lot of times when you have, uh, be, when you keep going up for a best actor or best actress and you don't win you can change your category to best supporting because you have a better chance of winning. So that's what he did. So he won. Did you see Glenn Close doing the butt? Did yes, I did see that. Yes, because that went viral. Yes, ma'am, she was doing the butt. I said, get it, old woman. <laughs> <laughs> she was getting it, baby. <laughs> now, she has been nominated eight times for an Oscar. She has never won an Oscar. What? She's never won, nominated eight you, times. Well, 
was she not and she said, this win, did she win this time? No, she did not oh, win this time. Lord. This was her eighth time, uh, I believe, being Dang, nominated. That's and crazy. she didn't win. But I think if you invited Glenn Close to your cookout, Nierica, I think that'd be like an Oscar for her. Yes. Yes. What would you do if you invited Glenn Close to your barbecue? How would you make her feel at home? What? Oh my goodness. Like, um, why I you see that she's like a little herb. Because she got an answer to it. Okay. I like that she has an urban, you know, um, rhythm. So that means I play some good music. Give us some of this good Southern cooking because I know how it's to cook, baby. Everything from scratch. We don't buy stove brought stuff. We do everything from scratch. Cause that's what our grandparents and great grandparents taught us. And I'll let her come on in, meet my family, and we'll juke a little bit, pour some um some champagne, or she wants some liquor, or you say a she wants a blunt or two, or whatever she wants. You know, I got her. You said juke a little bit. What ju what? Juke a little bit. That's right. Juke a little bit. That's what, right. What's That's what juke, what's juke a little bit. Juke, girl. You don't know what you be doing when you're juking. You you let your business out and stuff. You be juking. You. Juke. <laughs> That's what juking is. That's I didn't juke know that. That's right. Juke. You be juking. <laughs> what kind of stuff do you cook? Well, I, I know how to cook oxtail. Not my favorite meal is oxtail, some homemade baked macaroni cheese, collard greens, cornbread, and I love to do my rice. And sometimes I do yellow rice. Then I love to cook me some good old, good old mother pork chops. Yes, ma'am, where the meat melts in your mouth, baby. That's what they call it. My grandkids call everything I cook famous. They call it famous cool nano famous Kool Aid. They call everything I do and cook nano favorite food. <laughs> What's your favorite dessert? Wow. Oh, I can. Oh, I know how to make a key lime cake Ooh. now. You but my cake? favorite dish that I make is my great great grandmother sweet potato pie. Ooh. Wow. Oh, Nierica, I'm so hungry right now. I is that girl, is come on down here to Palm Beach, girl. We'll treat you right on right, honey. Like, I'm, and I'm, I'm drinking a big old meal for y'all. Thank you. I'm drinking bone broth right now. That's what I'm drinking. That's what they do in Hollywood. Bone broth. When they want to look like a crackhead, that's what they do. It's to slim me down. I'm drinking bone broth for the next three days. Oh, well, I want some of that because I need to slim down myself, girl. No, you don't. <laughs> you look great. All this Thank you. I look. That, I, I do. I, I got to slim down because I getting ready to go back to come back to Atlanta. I used to live in Atlanta for twenty two years. I oh, just wow. moved back home last year. So you have grandkids. I hear you have how many grandkids? That's why I feel you like got? I know you from Atlanta, but go ahead. I mean, grandkids. You probably you got. do, Kim, because um, I used to run with the big girls <laughs> back in the days, and I. I used to run with Sharon, and um, Sharon introduced me to Lisa Ray McCoy, and I knew um, Kim Field. I met her. Oh, I met a lot of people. You know, you probably Tommy didn't Ford know. Used to be you my mentor. Did. Jamaica Jatoy, did you know Jamaica? No, no I did not. Okay. So tell me about but your Tommy Ford kid. used to be my mentor before he oh, passed. Oh yes, Tommy. Oh, rest in peace, Tommy Ford. Yes, he he was my mentor for a while. Wow. Now tell me how many kids you got, Nierica. I only have two boys. That's it. Oh. And they and gave me grand seven grandkids. Seven grandkids. Yes, seven. five grandboys and two granddaughters. Oh, nice. Wow, you are blessed. Yes, oh, honey. And guess what? All their last name is Brooks. Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. All the kids. <laughs> so tell us something. I, I love, I, I, I have a feeling because you've, you've been through a lot of stuff, relationships, raising boys. Ooh. What relationship advice would you give to her and to me? We are both single, been having a, a little bit of a time. What's your beard okay, room? well, to be yeah, honest, yeah. on advice about relationship, I really don't like to 
tune into that with other people because I'm single mm-hmm. as well. But uh-huh. being that the relationship I had, I was married for 15 years to my husband. And All right. um, it was like the way we kept our relationship until it faded away was every day we, f- we fell in love with each other. Every day. We, 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 we fell in love with each other. It was never a dull moment with him. To this day, we are still best friends and he's moved on. He's remarried to another woman. I mean, he's married to a woman. He got kids now. But at the end of the day, that was my husband for 15 years and we just loved each other. It was hard at the beginning because first of all, he didn't know I was trans woman. I'm mean, keep it real with you. I had to you tell didn't him. Tell him that oh, wait, what? 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 No, she was trying. I'm trying to hear. She got. She would be talking. Cause I'm curious. I know, but I was. She was go. Okay, sorry. We best friends. Go ahead. What happened, so, Kim? I missed something. Oh, so in the beginning, he did not know. You said, oh, "Go ahead." You're right. At the beginning, he did not know. Uh Uh-uh. No, he did not know. No, mama didn't tell him because we didn't sleep together yet. So when do you tell a person? Well, for me, me, for me, for me, um, I always be up front. If, if, say, a guy meet me in front, you know, out in a public place or whatever, I don't inform him then. But when I'm on the phone with him, before we go any farther or whatever, I inform him. Now, it's your choice. Is this what you want or you just keep on moving? Because, see, mama don't play no games. You ain't going to run up on me with the rah-rah because mama is from the (laughs) rock. That means I'm from the food. So wait. So so when you all, I love that. So when you guys, you met, you said you didn't tell him immediately, but did you date for a while and then find out uh you know we dated for i night. told him i'm gonna say we dated for about a month and mm-hmm. then i informed him because people around the hood was already talking you know what i'm saying so and one of his was... cousins came and told him so he came and asked me that i had denied it at first yes i did because i ain't right. want that good man to go nowhere yes ma'am i was holding on to him but i had to pluck him and God, oh. yes, ma'am. Oh. So when you when you told when you finally did tell him, Erica, what was his response? Well, I thought he was gonna, you know, f me up. You know, I thought he was gonna, you know, do something to me because he's a thug man. He, he was a straight man, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, but he didn't. He said to me, he already knew he was waiting on me to tell him. Do you think he knew because he knew or he knew because his cousin told him? I think he knew because the people told him. Mm, he right. didn't know at first. No. But mm, had I'm he too- fallen, did he fall in love with you and so he wanted to stay? Oh, yep. look at that. Now that's nice. I, so that's look, we, was, we stayed in love. I mean, when I tell y'all we used to go to the club. Now, we used to do no gay stuff, like go to the gay club or nothing like that. We always went to, you know, abnormal stuff, just like a woman and a man would do. Now, and I know that's kind of messed up that, you know, I'm trans and I never really did the gay scene thing, because I didn't. Um, no, that's I, not, I, I don't think that's a messed up thing. It's just, it is. You just who you people, are. Yeah. I think it's getting more, you know, fluid, like, I don't think you have to do a certain thing to claim a certain thing because I, I think it's different. What I'd like to do right now quickly, uh, because I've been in this world for many years, but for our listening audience and for our viewing audience, can you please explain uh, the difference between tran or post-operation, pre-operation, or just transgender, trans woman, what it really means? Okay, transgender is a individual either man or woman, who was born with the identity and the spirit. I don't care what you say. You're born with that spirit of a, the opposite sex. Okay. They're not, it's not about their sexuality. 
And that's the thing I want people to really, really understand that transgender people is not all the way about their sexuality. It's about their identity. Okay. Mm. So it has nothing to do with what with what's between your legs. No, ma'am. Not at all. Nah. Some choose to keep their extra kickstand and some choose to take their stick can away. Okay. Okay. The, the extra, do you have your kickstand or did you take your kickstand Or away? is that an offensive question? I, I prefer that to be answered only in my bedroom. That's what I'm saying. But you didn't have to say offensive. You could have just said, maybe she doesn't prefer to answer that. That's all you had okay, to say. Okay, well, that's the first thing. I wasn't offended you. or anything. I wasn't offended, my girls. Y'all know y'all my new sisters now. So, you know, I wasn't offended or anything. I just I preferred that to be discussed in my bedroom privately. There's I, but it's interesting because you... That, huh? No, I'm sorry. Keep going. I said there are certain things that I just feel that should be discussed privately among certain people. Like, I don't go and express my love like some people do. And I, and, and I don't have nothing against it. Each his own. But I just think what you do in your bedroom is your bedroom business. It's your business. Absolutely. Do you think that, am I, I don't, don't want to jump off. No, no, I was going to ask her, will she get married again? But go ahead. Well, you know, it's very interesting. Will here. I get married again? Uh -huh. Um, You know, every time somebody, you, I would like to, but I don't know if I'd be blessed to have that, that love that I had that first time. You know, I don't yeah. know. Well, Speaking of your ex-husband, because he loved you and you guys did regular, just you went to typical clubs. How was he able to handle uh, being a man? And like you say, he was just out there in the streets. How was he able to handle that from other people? You know, and from other judgment. people and really did not know until you, until if you was like in my circle, that's the only reason why you knew because okay. you're in my circle. But outside of the circle, people really didn't know. What about like you said, people on the street in the neighborhood, his cousins? Now nah, that's a different thing, cause that's your neighborhood. So you know, you know how we are. Let's just keep it one hundred. We see something that's out of the ordinary. It only take one mouth to go to running. And how was he able to handle that? He did very well. He he stepped up to his mother. That that because she he had a yeah. Me and the mother didn't get along well. And, and he stepped up to her. So that was a man to me. You know what I'm saying? No, he did not disrespect his mother. No, he, he's not right. that type no, of no. man. He held his ground. Huh? He held his ground with his mother. Right. Wow. Yes. Now his Look. father, man, me and his father got along fine. Me and his father was good. And his father loved me, honey. Yeah. Oh. The daddy did. Mm -hmm. Now, question for you, because look, we ain't had a man to do that yet. But question for you, because I love how you said some things you should keep private in your own bedroom. And and in social media, Kim is on Daily Pop. I'm on Dish Nation. We talked about that Courtney Kardashian is now with this uh rocker named Travis Barker. And they and have he been on her. Okay. We, no, we ain't got that yet. Uh, we ain't got that yet. But what they're doing is they're posting all kinds of, she was sucking on his thumb. It looked like she was yep, giving a blowjob. Yep, yep. They posted pictures of them really like going crazy tongue kissing. They posted pictures. He says that, you know, she bites him. And I feel like social media, people are sharing too much. How you feel, Nierica? I'm gonna tell you about that. I really do. It 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 pisses me off that everybody got to put their ten and five cent business out there on social media every five seconds. Nobody don't want to see you kissing. Nobody don't want to see you doing those type of stuff. You might got children, and you got children out here. Have respect for the kids. You don't have enough respect for yourself. And the reason why I, I don't like it, and then you get mad. You know they go and put out. Oh, I just went to the bathroom. Oh, I got blood in my stool. You know, who asked you all of that? Then you get mad when somebody confront you and you be like, well, how you all up in my business? No, you don't put your business out there on Facebook. That, I, I well was said. Nailed it. Uh, was it, Chris? Nailed it. Very good point. 
Beautiful. Absolutely. Too many people. You, you know, and it's funny because we're we're wiser, we're older women, us three. Mm -hmm. And I see all of these people with they get into these social media arguments. I'm unfollowing you, you unfollowing me. What would you say to these young ones that you see on social media? Did just ugh. well, honestly, um, I just had to deal with something like that and it ended in tragic. Um, not me personally. But somebody I know, um, they out there on the Facebook fruit and, and then I guess whenever they saw each other, they did the shooting and one is dead oh. and one is injured. So to that, that's for these young children. And this is what I say strongly. And I'm going to say strongly, and I hope they hear me, especially the one that down in Miami that shot that three-year-old baby. I Ooh. want y'all to understand that killing somebody you can't bring them back. Never, ever, ever. Now, if you wound somebody, you can apologize and make that up. If you steal from them, you can return the goods or make the values better. But if you take their life, you cannot. I don't care what means or how you sorry you are, you can't bring those people back. Y'all need also, to think before you mm -hmm. do. If you call yourself a man, you pick up your fist and you fight like a man. That's what a man does. A coward and a creep ass person picks up a gun and shoot. If you a man and you call yourself a thug and you call yourself, you know, all of this, where, you, where your hands at? Be a man and go fight that man with the hands. Cause guess what? If you lose today, you can come back tomorrow and fight him again. But if you Ooh. kill him, you can't come back and fight no more. And you That's can't what I'm gonna out of all y'all, do y'all remember the first fight you got into? You remember the first oh, me? fight? You got into? Yeah, when mm -hmm. you said you remember the first fight you got into? You asking? Yes, weird. darling. Yes, yes honey, I, I got in a thousands of fights. You hear me, honey? I used to be fighting. Like the one least, listen, the my least brutal. Listen, my used to be A B. You understand? A -B. Me? Yes, ma'am. You better Google A B. A B stands for awesome bitch ass beater. Wait, awesome bitch, bitch ass beat him. That's A B A B. <laughs> awesome bitch ass that beat him. That's baby. A B. My okay. first fight. Look, my first fight. Um, I I had just moved to to Palm Beach to to Riviera Beach, and uh -huh. I started this this new school, this new elementary school, which was called Riviera Beach Elementary. Yes, ma'am. I'm putting the raw on the map. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so when um they had I came to the school and you know the class and the people was nitpicking at me like the whole school wanted to fight me. The whole oh. school wanted to fight me. But let me tell you, I wasn't nothing but an old little skinny thing. I was so small like a hula hoop through a fruit loop. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> that part. And they thought I was going to be scared of them because all of them wanted to fight me. I found the nearest trash pile and I found me a stick and I went to whooping on them like they was somebody's child that didn't got an ass whooping in a long time. And I ain't never had no more problems out of them in Raw Vera no more, honey. <laughs> no, ma'am. That's all. Period. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I asked Nierica. I had a feeling Nierica had been through some some uh, confrontation. Yes, baby. Woo! Girl, I've been through some fights after fights, honey. I don't need, I got almost got expelled out of school, middle school. That was middle school. I was in middle school. Yes, ma'am. And these boys tried to jump me. And I pulled out the two biggest butcher knives I had. <laughs> yes, man, butcher knives. Yes, I did. I showed it. I went to school prepared for them, honey. And I went to juggling in the snack, and the juggling in the snack, and they got their asses on and sat out somewhere, honey. Yes, ma'am. They know who they are, too. Mm -hmm. Was Those your mother still want to know? Did your mother want to know where her butcher knives were? No, we had plenty of them. I had no, let me tell y'all. I had got my big brother um, sweatpants and I got one of their big football jersey 
and I took the butcher knives and, and put a little hole in the pockets and put them down in the pockets like this and put the jersey over me, you know, to cover the handle of the butcher knives and went on to school. Yes, ma'am. And you yes, were 11. I sure did. Mm -hmm. You were 11 or 12. Yes, ma'am. And I could tell you another story. We don't even have a Christmas parade in our city no more because of me. Now, it ain't what? all because of me. It ain't all because of me. It ain't all. But they said me. But anyways, I used to have a dance group because I used to dance a lot. And uh, it was called AB and the Jingling Babies. And we had this biscuit frisky parade. And um, baby, okay, my behind goes out there. So me and my girls, we dancing. We having a good time. And then all of a sudden, this girl came out of nowhere and stabbed one of my dancers. Oh, in the what? temple. What? Yeah. Oh. In the temple, girl. We was little kids back then. So oh. anywho, oh. long story short, we had to grab her. And when I tell you we whooped her ass, the daddy ass, the grandmama ass, the police ass, and we need to beat up Santa Claus. I'm sorry. So they Santa you don't Claus. got no more parade no more. No more parade, <laughs> no more parade. How old were you? How old were you? Uh, probably about 13 or 14. Might have been 16. Whoa. Might have been 16. Because that was, yeah, that was like in 92. That happened in 90. You can either Google. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all can even look mm. that up in the newspaper and even find some of the radio that talked about that. Because, baby, we put a good whooping. On them, baby, people. that sound like straight New Orleans right there. No, it's baby, that's the raw, the raw, honey, Riviera Beach, the raw, honey, Palm Beach County. That's 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 we ain't no New Orleans, baby. We from the bottom, baby. The bottom, baby. See that? Oh, yes, yes. So, Ni Erica, I, I thank you for telling us your stories and about your life. What? In your dreams, what in your wildest oh dreams, what would you love to accomplish? Honestly, I want to be a Oh, working... say hi to Joshua. Nierica, say hi to Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Ooh. How are you? Hi, handsome boy. Wait a minute. Don't you got a birthday coming up? Do you have a birthday coming up, Joshua? No. It... It passed. Yeah, like a little boy. Okay, that was my son who had a birthday. Yeah, her son. My son. Oh, that had was your birthday. baby. They had a birthday. Okay. Had a okay. Birthday. I knew one of y'all babies had a birthday. I was like, I had a birthday. I said <laughs> happy birthday, and I did say happy birthday to you too. Um, Thank your you. Your birthday? What is today, right? No, it's the same day. It was the same day as my son's. Oh, okay then. Okay, the and you look fabulous to be fifty-four. I thought Thank you were somewhere you. in your thirties and stuff, girl. I ain't know you. Mm -hmm. you know, was like Thank you. Kim said she oh, don't tell I her age. The only reason oh, why Kim, I tell I, my look, age. Wait a minute, you can't wow. look. I didn't tell it. The um, the people told it. I no, exactly. No, no. You are fine. She does. The, Kim don't tell her age. The reason why I tell my age is because nobody knew my age. But once I started co-hosting the View, they immediately put my age out there, no matter what. It was always Sherry Shepherd forty seven. Sherry Shepard, 48. So they always Dang. put my feet. So I, there's no way I can get around it because everybody always knows my age because of the view. So that's why I'm very right. open about it. But I wanted to ask you, I didn't want to get away from this. I asked you in your wildest dreams, what are some things that you want to accomplish that you feel you have? I want been? to um, make sure that I get generation wealth for my grandbabies and I want to become a really principal actress. I, I, I want to be, that's what I want to be, a principal actress and I want to be working. I want to work. Um, I don't want to, I need to work. I, this pandemic had us all back up. I need to work. I need a J-O-B. Then I can accomplish anything else after that because then that's money coming in. Amen. Right. Amen. Now, have you have you done stand up comedy? Yes, I I produced my own show. Um, I was trying to get Bruce Bruce to host it, but he had an event to do it, and I tried to call my girl some more, some more, yeah, some more. But she she was busy doing her own show. But I ended up doing a show in Atlanta at the backstage. 
Okay. In 2017. How much time, huh? how much time can you do? How many times? How much time can you do on stage? Like, well, can you do 10 minutes, 20 minutes? Yeah, like, how much yeah. Time? I can, I, well, I was, when I did my show myself, I stayed on stage for, I think, about maybe 15 or 20 minutes um, because I had already had other comedians performing before me. And it was actually my birthday at the same time. So I really wanted to just, you know, do something for a little bit for my fans that was there and the people that came for my birthday and gave them a good show. And then we partied. So I didn't stay long on stage that day. But um, and I did come to Palm Beach and I hosted um, um, a comedy show with I don't know if y'all know Sweet Baby Kita and uh, Ashima. Uh, Ashima is on Ready for Love. Okay. 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 So the yeah, question that's I my girl. To ask Those you. my girls there. Huh? I want to ask you, Nierka. We have to leave because Kim's got to take care of some stuff. We've been honored to have you as our guest. We want to keep in touch with you. But the next time Kim and I go on the road, when it's her and I, would you like to open for us? Are you, I, 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 yeah, 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 hell yeah. Don't you think? That would be great. I yes. think that would be amazing. And we I pay. It would be a lot of fun. We pay, yep. Yeah. It would be great if you open for us. Oh, my show. God, yes. Kim, I would love to. I, 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 I girl. Y'all gonna have me on Dish Nation next week. <laughs> <laughs> the Erica, well, we send me send me your email. We'll make sure that uh, when Two Funny Mamas comes rolling through, that uh, you, you get your time. Well, we're talking about once we get out of COVID of getting back on the road. So we would. Love I understand. To um, that's cool. That's cool. Cause right now we we supposed to be filming season two. I am in a new series that's supposed to be coming to Netflix called Dream on Dreamer. I play Tara. Uh, I have a few salons. I got this upscale. My sister, you know, she going through drama with this dude. And, oh, it's just a whole bunch of drama. But it's really good. It's going to come out. We, we finished season one already. But I got to come back to Atlanta and finish season two. And I think he want to do it somewhere in July or August. It was supposed to be in May. But he's saying the COVID stuff is not over with yet. So he won't fall back into July or April. I mean, August. Yeah. All that right. So we're going to call you and let you know our date. Yes. So we can talk about getting you in to open. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Y'all just really touched me. Y'all got me over here inside just crying and bubbling all up and stuff. You got well, me you feeling are real joy. sexy. You are so such a joy. You really are a joy, and You're I think it was—I think it was God meant for us to and, meet and, you. And, and, and I and I and I'm not going to disagree with you on that, baby. I believe it was God Himself too, because when y'all went live on me, and I was on—you know what? No point. My instinct was to hang up, but no, God said no. Stay talking to them. <laughs> Don't hang no. up. Don't worry about how you look right now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, you look beautiful, and thank you so much for coming on and joining us. And we hope to talk to you again. It likewise, likewise. <laughs> thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much for having me on the Two Funny Mama Show, and thank you for inviting me to open for you guys. I I really feel blessed right now. Y'all don't even know I'm finna. I already know my kin folks because I know they watching this. They finna be calling as soon as this funk, this is over with. I listen to me. That's what happened the last time. My grandchildren say, "Now I saw you on uh, on IG." I said, "What you doing on IG? You ain't nothing but four years old." <laughs> four years old. You ain't nothing but four years old. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, this comes out on Thursday, yes, so we'll make sure Thursdays. we get you a clip to post. Yes. So be yes, out on Thursday. Please. But we're. We're sending you so much love, yes. and we're going to be in contact with you for you to come and open for Thank us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Sherry, y'all. And Sherry, you got my auntie name, too. Oh, Sherry? Yeah. I thought you name. Oh, she thought you was calling me another name. No, I call you Sherry. 
All right, that's what I was talking about. We love you. All right, thank yes, you. Yes, so I was calling you Sherry. It may sound different, but I was calling you Sherry because my auntie named Sherry, so I wasn't messing that up. And Kim, you got my kids' other half name. You get what oh, I'm saying? I, I'll take it. No, no, no. I'm saying though, that's my kids' mother's name. Kim. Kim. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll take it. We're blessed. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much, Nierica Brooks. If y'all want to get Nierica, what's your what's your Instagram and Facebook? My uh, IG is diva underscore three thousand and Facebook. I'm Nierica Brooks, and you can find me on Snapchat, Twitter, Nierica. No, diva one underscore three thousand on Twitter. Okay, send it all to Chris so we can put it up on the screen. Yes, ma'am. I shall do so. All right. Thank you. you take it easy. So excited. <laughs> Bye, Chris. Bye, Thank Kim. You, Bye, great Sherry. Work. Thank you. What a great time we had yes. with me, Erica. She was absolutely delightful. And I think we've fallen in love with Nierica. Absolutely. And we definitely mean that, Nierica. We would love for you to hit a spot with us on the road. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, unfortunately, um, after we taped this with Nierica, tragedy hit her family and she lost her son uh, two days after we filmed this podcast. Very tragically. Yes. So we want to say our prayers go out to you and your family. And if um, anyone wants any more information, uh, please check uh, below uh, and uh Read in the comments. And we love you, Nierica. And we send you all of our prayers and over your family. And we are so, so sorry for the loss of your son. Yes. Thank you, everyone. See you next week. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.